good afternoon everyone welcome back to life of us and we are plowing through all the custom dungeons and dragon balls that we've done almost near the end with a few more characters that we need to do and in today's segment we are looking at a human monk build a human monk duelist in this case we've had a previous human monk build that we shared and this is a very similar character um, you'll see similarities between the two this one is more geared towards fighting, whereas the previous monk was more geared towards releasing and controlling energy or chi. Um, so without further ado, let's step back in and have a look at our human monk duelist for the Dungeons and Dragons adventure board games. So how Razorblade Dali, a human monk duelist, also hailing from the monastery of Tajimora, and we'll have more of Tajimora in the upcoming campaign that I'm busy putting together. But hailing from the monastery of T Tajimora, the mysterious Zhao and his brother Chen have been tasked with restoring the balance of light and dark. Wielding the Dao Xin, the deadly dual blades, Zhao is a formidable fighter as and well skilled in the arts of ninjutsu. So we've got a ninja type character. Everybody's kung fu fighting in today's episode. Um, we've covered Chen in a previous installment. Um, this is Zhao, his brother, and they from Tajimora. He's got two dual plates, and the mini that you see on the right hand side here is from the Nolz's Marvelous Minis. That's a um, human monk duelist um, um, figurine. And below that you'll see the dice that I use um, for this particular character, as I did with the installment just before this, which was the um, Elven Dragon Blades. This one also uses the Ninja Dice dice. So if you've seen the Ninja Dice game, it's a really small little game. Let's see if I can get a point. <coughs> this is actually what it looks like over here. Comes in a little cool little um, baggy and it's got it's filled with dice. It's a fun little party game to start off an evening with. I'm more interested in the actual dice. The dice we're using in this case is this dice that you see over here. It's got six sides. If you don't have the Ninja Dice game and you still want to play this character, just use a normal six-sided dice and make sure that each face represents one of the different sides. So in this case, his base ability is called the Ren Shu. Before starting the hero phase, roll one ninja die. Until the start of your next hero phase, you gain the following bonus. So if you roll the ninja face on it, which is this one over here, uh, you get a plus two to all adjacent attacks. If you roll the flying star, you get a plus two to all ranged attacks and evade. Evade is uh, one that you see in this picture over here with the uh, hand catching an arrow. That's a minus one damage on any attack targeting your hero. Invisibility. It says your hero does not count as the closest hero in result of monster tactics. Uh, the mind key, which is this key, key over here that you see. If you roll the mind key, um, during your hero phase you may move through any one adjacent wall, which is quite cool. And then immutable, this one over here, Chinese phrase, that one says you can flip up any one utility power. And for your power cards, you get two at walls, three utilities, and one daily power. So again, if you do not have the ninja dice, you're most welcome to use a normal six-sided die. Just let each side of the die represent one of these abilities. Okay, let's have a look at his actual... Okay, so we've got some more character cards, leveling up to level level three and level four. Level three and level four, you obviously start to unlock but more expert powers in your AC and your HP value start to increase. So our human monk duelist, what are his actual powers like? We've got dual blades because he's got two blades that he carries with him and his dual blades allow him to attack an adjacent monster twice. It's a plus six doing one damage. Then we've got a throwing blade, attack one monster within two tiles. We've got a scorpion blade, Attack one monster within one tile on a hit of the monster adjacent to your hero. So fairly strong stats. Again, um, like I said with some of the previous builds I've done, if you do find the character to be a little OP, you can definitely adjust the attack ratings if you need to. I've built it OP for the campaign that I'm busy building, which hopefully I'll get to very soon, within this year. Daily powers. He's got Knife Whisperer. 
which allows him to attack three monsters within two tiles, plus eight doing two damage, and Deadly Blades, attack two adjacent monsters with a single dice roll, plus nine doing two damage and miss and one damage. Um, more daily powers, he's got a Lacerating Wound, that's to attack one adjacent monster, that's a very high attack stat of 30 doing four damage. And then we've got the Rain Shoot Dao, that allows you to roll an additional Rain Shoot dice at the start of your hero phase, which is one of these dice here. So you roll two of them instead of one, obviously benefiting from both. Okay, then in terms of his utility powers, we've got to select three of them and there's six in total. There's Ninja Healing, which gives you plus two HP. Ninja Armor, which gives you a plus two to AC. And Ninja Speed, which gives you a plus two to speed. We've got a dodge. Use at any time when your hero is targeted by attack and reduce the damage by two. So it's similar to the evade, but this one actually allows you to evade the damage. Reduce the damage by two. We've got the ninja prowess to give you a plus two to all attacks and you get buffed this on top of whatever you rolled on your dice as well. And then the ninja sets. Use during exploration phase. You don't place an encounter card when doing the black arrow tile. Those are utility powers and moving on to his expert powers now we've got ninja form uh, attack all monsters within two tiles that's 11 to two damage more monsters ninja kai which you don't flip over that allows you to roll one additional range shoot dice when you get to an expert level and always roll two at this stage and then precision blades uh, allow you to attack any one adjacent monster doing five damage for 13 attack and if the monster is not destroyed it is stunned so that, in a nutshell, is the Human Monk Duelist build for the Dungeons & Dragons board game.